Born August 28, 2000, and now 24 years old, Eva Erickson rocketed into the national spotlight when she coolly strategized her way to the final five on Survivor 48. A native of Egan, Minnesota, now based in Providence, Rhode Island, Eva had already built a resume that could rival any CBS cast bio. She dual enrolled at the University of Minnesota while still in high school, then earned a BS in physics at Georgia Tech, becoming the first and only woman to skate for the school's men's hockey team and serving as its public relations officer. Today, her wiki entry lists her as a PhD candidate in Brown University's School of Engineering, yet she still finds time to referee NCAA Division I Hockey East games and work national youth tournaments as a Level 4 USA hockey official. Eva's professional path is just as stacked. Between 2020 and 2022, she completed engineering research stints at Baxter International, a biomechanics lab at Georgia Tech, and 3M's R&D division, before switching focus to full-time doctoral research last autumn. Off the ice and out of the lab, she's amassed 95K Instagram followers by speaking openly about her autism diagnosis, received at age one, and creating bite-sized myth-busting content on the spectrum. In February 2025, she launched limited edition Fiji Hockey Club merch caps, tees, and hoodies inspired by her Survivor tribe, pledging $5 from every sale to Minnesota Special Hockey, which supports autistic athletes. Family remains her anchor, Eva credits her parents for refusing to let low expectations define her trajectory, and she frequently spotlights her boyfriend, Paul Molnar, in posts ranging from lakeside bonfires to joint hockey scrimmages. Happy birthday to the boy I'd massacre hundreds of beavers for, she teased in one viral caption. She also keeps tight ties with past and present teammates, reuniting for weekend beach trips and reminiscing about high school championships. Looking ahead, Eva plans to juggle Brown's lab reports with winter officiating assignments and is open to a possible Survivor All-Star return. Whether she's calibrating complex fluid dynamics equations or dropping the puck at center ice, the openly autistic scholar-athlete proves that you can smash stereotypes while skating at full speed and still make time to give back.